In this video, I am showing you one of the highlights of the Toy Fair of 2020, the Roco Digital Crane. As you can see here, I got to play with a pre-production model at the fair in Germany. This was uh, in January of this year, 2020. And this model is just absolutely amazing. Highly detailed, fully functional, and digital and it adds a lot of play value to your layout. It's a self-driving model. The crane can rotate. The boom can raise and be lowered. And it can also be extracted and retracted. And then, of course, the uh, hook can uh, raise and lower. Then you also have full sound effects and all kinds of switchable light functions. What we're doing here is we're gonna unbox the uh, crane. And of course, I picked a system that is suitable for Merklin, the AC version of this crane. And the item number is 79035. And you can see that little squiggly in a little box on the side. And that means it is suitable for Merklin. It can do the Merklin Motorola system. And it, of course, since it's Roco, also functions with DCC. So you can use it on DCC layouts. But in that case, you take the DCC version, or I should say the two rail version, the 73035. Very nice heavy box, a thick uh, instruction manual in several languages. And then the crane itself is presented really nicely, even with a little piece of Roco track so that you can put it on display. What I like about this is that it comes uh, even complete with the little screwdriver that you will need if you use the outer riggers that are on the crane. The crane itself the add-on car, and your little presentation track. Underneath the track are a few more small items, the end pieces for the track, and some small parts. including strapping for your loads, detail parts that I know most guys will not use, but you can fully detail this crane if you desire to do so. And it also contains uh, some Merklin style couplers if you do not want to use the Roco couplers that are on the crane. And here you see the outriggers, the counterweight in the middle, the add-on car, and they technically call it a barrier wagon with the place for the bearing block and the counterweight and the support pedestals. The crane itself has uh, a lot of metal in it, so it's very nice and heavy. If you want to remove it, you got to remove these two plastic tabs first, and then you can cautiously lift the crane out of the package. You can kind of see how heavy it is. It's, it's really nice. Can't see any wiring. You can't see any um, of the motors that they use. Has the pickup shoe on the bottom. As you can tell, it's a very nice model. This is the German version in yellow. They also had a red version, but that's for the Austrian railroad.
So if you look at the little accessories, there's your counterweight. Nice and heavy. It's actually needed if you operate heavy loads on the crane. And it hooks on the back like so. And then if you tilt it just right, you can take it back off. If you look carefully, you, you see the two little indentions on the bottom. And these, these fit on the car. Right there, you see the little stub outs. And you simply lay the counterweight down and make sure that these indentions fall in the stubs on the car. Then there's the little cross beam. And you can use this for larger loads together with the sling. And you see two little holes on the bottom of the cross beam. And they need to go on the pins on the car, like so. And then you can actually rotate the cross beam so that it wouldn't get stuck behind catenary, etc. The hook can rotate with a nice heavy counterweight. And if it's extended, if the rope is extended, I couldn't get it to fit now, it's just too short. But it will fit inside that counterweight. And that's how you can travel with the crane. Then you get the blocks, and they are there to support the outriggers. And you need to use the outriggers when you start to use heavy loads on the crane and operate the crane sideways. Because many of our YouTube viewers are Merklin users, I'm going to show you how to use this crane with the mobile station. So first we're going to enter it, and it's going to be entered manually. And I like to use the DCC mode here, since this is really a DCC product. We're going to set it to address number three, the standard address. Hit the check mark, and then you can name it. In this example, I'm just going to name it Crane but you could name it the EDK750 or whatever you feel like. Hold down the shift button, that makes it easier to scroll through the letters. And luckily I can spell still, so crane. No spell checker, but that looks good to me. Hit the check mark, poof. Now we need to get a symbol. Sadly enough, there is no crane symbol, but I'm going to use this diesel locomotive close enough for me for now. And you can see up to seven functions. And if you hit the shift button, it scrolls all the way to the 23 functions. This is where the page out of the instruction manual will be helpful for you to see which button does which function. Of course, the lights are pretty obvious. And then F1 will do the sound. And then you can see if I use the speed control, the crane will start to move, but it can move very, very slowly. And this is done so that you can maneuver the loads that the crane lifts very precisely. The crane can, by the way, also be pulled in a train. And you simply set a little lever on the bottom and that allows the gears to freewheel. But look at this, it's amazing. The crane can just move by itself. 
And if you want to rotate the crane, you push the F2 button, and then turning the speed control will make the crane rotate. So your F2 button toggles between driving the train back and forth and rotating the crane. And your speed control will work just like normal, as well as the directional control of the speed control. If you hit the shift button, you can maneuver through the different functions and call up other functions. And F8 will lift the boom. This boom also has protection for um, the end of travel. It will stop automatically. Now if I hit F12, that's the horn, the short horn. And F5 will extend the boom. Again, protection for the end of travel, it will stop automatically. The hook stays at the same height. You can't see any motors, any gears. This is done very well. Okay, I hit F2 again to go to the rotation mode. Now I can rotate the crane. Push the button, change direction. If I hit F6, the hook will come down. And then if I hit F3, the hook, the winch, will go back up. As you can see, you can fully control the crane with the mobile station. The only thing to uh, have handy is that little list of the functions initially, so that you learn which of the function buttons does what. Now when you really start working the crane and working it sideways, you do have to use the crane supports and the support blocks. And as you can see, you can unfold these crane supports. You do have to do that by hand still. You grab the blocks and then use these add-on supports and they fit on top of the blocks like so, and you put them under the feet, and then this is where you will end up using the little screwdriver that comes with the kit to adjust the screw inside that support stand so that it will hit the blocks and the crane becomes nice and stable. Besides unfolding the four legs, you also need to take the counterweight and hang it on the back of the crane. Here you can see how you screw down the support until it hits the support block. And you do this on all four supports.
I hope that this video gave you a little bit of an insight in the masterpiece that Rocco produced this year. This digital crane has a lot of play functions, looks very authentic and realistic, and will add a lot to your layout. And even though it's DCC, you can see that it works very well with uh, three rail, as long as you buy, of course, the three rail version, the 79035, and that it will work well with a Merklin mobile station. Now I say it's DCC, but you could also operate it with the Merklin Motorola system. However, the newer Merklin controllers can do both Merklin Motorola and DCC. And as you could tell here from the beginning of the video, I simply selected the DCC mode for this crane. Mobile station can do it. Crane operates perfectly in DCC. So that's what I used. Also, I don't think I mentioned it yet, but look at the two work lights on top of the boom. Those floodlights, it's just amazing. What a long way we've come since we were using the screw-in light bulbs in our locomotives back in the 60s and 70s. Remember those days? Obviously, you can also use the Roco controller. You can even use a PlayStation controller when you use the Roco controller. And this will work very well with a central station as well. I'm going to keep playing with the crane for a little bit more. If you like the video, please give us a thumbs up and hopefully you'll subscribe to our channel. Thanks much and we'll see you the next time.